Welcome to Genuine Coral guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement the navigation drawer that we are familiar in your Android devices to your Java FX programming language. And I think you're already familiar with the JFX hamburger which I have discussed in the previous tutorial and by clicking on this hamburger you can get a beautiful drawer and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to implement this program so first thing first as always let me start from the beginning so I'm just removing these things for the sake of simplicity I don't want this fixing the imports so this one is pre-built and I will explain that a little bit later so I'm gonna remove these two things and so the first thing I need is a JFX hamburger so we need a hamburger and that's okay hamburger and you can add a JFX drawer by typing the JFX drawer here and you will get a JFX drawer so this is the one that we are going to use in order to implement a JFX drawer and when you drag and drop it you can see that it contains a very less amount of space so you have to increase the size by a little bit so I have increased the size and now let us put it into the end and when you look into the properties you can set the navigation draw drawer or the JFX drawer to come from the left side the right side the top side and the bottom side in this case I'm going to select the left one so uh, that's pretty much it and let's give some variable names so JFX drawer I'm going to give drawer and for JFX hamburger I'm going to give hamburger now we have an anchor pane with FXID anchor pane let us generate the control skeleton that's fine okay I'm going to fix the imports by control shift i in it means so that should that's it and next thing we have to do is uh, if you compile the program you can see that nothing is happening because we haven't given any event or a transition for this hamburger so let's give the transition this is the code that we have just deleted let me just copy and paste this hamburger transition which I have covered thoroughly in the previous tutorial so that's fine I have a hamburger back arrow transition with rate set to minus one and this can wait and let's run the program so that's okay uh, the hamburger is working and now we have a drawer and the important thing is the drawer has two function two methods one called drawer dot draw in order to open the drawer so in the last example when I click when I call the draw it came from the left side and in order to hide the drawer you can call drawer dot hide <coughs> so that's it and what we have to do is we have to switch between uh, drawer dot draw and drawer dot hide if it is already open then we have to hide it if it is hidden you have to draw it so that can be done using if drawer dot is then is visible is shown if it is already shown then I just have to hide it in the else case I want to draw it so that's it now you can see a small transition of the JFX drawer since both the background and this color is white uh, you can see any difference so that's it that's how you include a drawer in your program so th that's not all we have to add some content to the drawer right and you can draw 
uh, add a content to the drawer using the method draw dot set not content it is some kind of complicated function set side pane so that's it set side pane and in this side pane you can pass a parameter as the the content can be passed as a parameter to this function this is what is shown inside the drawer so in order to make the program looks more interesting I have made a drawer content it is nothing but a virtual bo uh, vertical box with uh, a simple image view and four but five buttons four of them are named as colors and one with exit and one unusual thing I have done to this button is the accessible text <coughs> I have given the accessible text in, uh, text in order to identify the button from this fxml document controller I will explain uh, it will become more clear when we use that <coughs> and the exit button is used for exiting program which will we will do from the event handler section and I have added some CSS for this and in the CSS section I have added a button hover property so can so that when you put your mouse onto the button it will change its color and that's it so we have a different drawer control drawer content dot fxml file and I want and, and what I want to do is I want to add this content into this side pane which can be done pretty much similarly like this this is my old document file I don't want this I want to load the fxml file so this is the syntax for loading an fxml file <coughs> I am fixing the imports so uh, it will throw some exception so let us try it, catch it so this is what it is doing the fxml loader dot load class will load the fxml file and create a box variable it will uh, it can be associated to hbox or uh, anger pane or anything in this case my parent node is virtual v box or oh sorry for virtual box it is vertical box and so that's it and the last thing i want to do is i want to set the box as the content and now let's just run the program and it is showing a part of the, the stack pane it is due to the improper dimension given and let's fix that so that's it it's working very cool very fine and the uh, important thing we have to do is we have to set the width of this drawer in order to compensate this extra space you can set the width of drawer from the fxml document file itself so we have a jfx drawer and in the properties the first one is the first property is the one we are looking for so I am setting it to some kind of 190 <coughs> okay now let us run our program again and that's it we got it and the next thing we have to do is we have to associate some kind of event handler to this button to do some useful task I am just setting the background color to something material colors you can add your own methods so let's do that <coughs> there are so many ways to associate even handlers to the drawer content in my case I am using a simple one like for object object I am first taking all the contents all the children's from the box which are nothing but nodes, <coughs> nodes and what I'm going to do is I have associated the accessible text accessible text for all these four buttons all these five buttons actually so what I'm going to do is if node dot get accessible text not equal to null I, it is used in order to escape from the uh, image view which is already a node. so 
so by using this if condition I have got my five buttons and next thing I have to do is I have to add some event so I am going to add an event handler with event type no it is mouse event mouse event dot mouse event dot mouse clicked and I want to use the lambda expression <coughs> so we got even handlers and for the first button I'm gonna switch between the button if the switch node dot get accessible text and if the button if the selected button is the first one which is material one material one I want to make sure uh, it's quick one it's color one and it's material one so that's fine and I want to change the color of the anger pane so background color can be set using anger pane dot set background new background new background fill pane dot value of and I want to use this I have already saved some colors from the internet so I am going to use that and the last thing I want to do is I want to add some break statements so that's it now when I click on the material one button that is color one I will get the background change to 4C F550 and I'm gonna copy and paste these cases in order to save some time for you so that's it I have given the case or the even handler for all these buttons and for the last button I have coded for exiting the program using the system dot exit function so I think we are good to go let's run the program and I'm gonna click on the hamburger we got the drawer we got the cover so that's it that's how you use a drawer in your program guys and the last thing I want to introduce is you can I have told you that you can change the direction of the JFX drawer if you want to come this from the left then you can do so and that can be done I'm going to change the hamburger from that side to this side and you can put this thing here and the white background is here because it is set to left direction and by setting it to right direction it's okay and I'm gonna put the hamburger here and let us run the code see you got it from the right side the hamburger doesn't make sense you have to use the right direction hamburger transition so that's it that's how you use a drawer in your JavaFX programming language guys thank you for watching as always like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos thank you